After all the comments I've been getting on my garden beds, I thought it's probs time to make an effort on my gardens and not just the lawn. So today I grabbed some new plants to add colour to the landscape. Don't worry, there are lawn tips included in this vid. Keep an eye out for my first cut on the tiff tuff and the use of some new tools. So I did a bit of shopping today, went down to the nursery, got a couple of different plants. Um, tell you what, these are like my favourite azaleas. Um, and the reason I love them is because, well originally I designed, chose perennial ryegrasses because of Augusta National. They have ryegrass pretty much everywhere on that course. Um, and I love the azaleas they've got on the 13th, um, behind the 13th green there. Pretty sure the hole's actually just called the azalea hole. Um, it's got so many there, but I love them. I love the flowers on them. So that's why I've got I've got quite a few azaleas. That's probably the most of what I got. Just a couple of different varieties, some pink, red, this and that. Yeah, azaleas. I love them. Um, I got some. My wife asked for these. What are they? Peonies? Sounds like something else. I got some proteas. So they're originally from South Africa, which I think they've got a beautiful flower on them. So I got some of those. Um, got a lemon tree. It's a dwarf one. Just going to plant it over in the corner. Um, and. These are for Connor Ward, these bad boys, but no, I got some dahlias. Now, I said dahlias at the nursery like um, Connor Ward pronounces them, and they just looked at me like, what the crap are you talking about, mate? They're dahlias, anyway. Got some dahlias, so I'm gonna plant these as well. Gonna put them over probably in on this side a bit more. Not not these, sorry, the... Actually, I'll probably put these across the whole area. I haven't really decided yet. We're about to find out where I'm putting them, but we're gonna put the azaleas anyway more towards this side because it gets a bit more shade during the day and they can't handle too much sun. Um, but I've got some varieties that are a little bit better in the sun as well, so, you know, let's see how we go. But it's nice to get some plants in finally. And guys, don't bag me if I'm doing this wrong because I'm not a gardener. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. Right. So, Adam at Plant Doctor sent me this stuff here. These are called power pellets. They're organic product. Um, I'm gonna be using them to put underneath a couple of the plants anyway that Need fertilizer underneath, put a bit of dirt on them, and then chuck the plants on top. Order it in afterwards, but yeah, there it goes. Alrighty, so we are all done. I finished planting. Um, camera cut out for some reason right towards the end of that time lapse, but it doesn't matter. It wasn't that exciting anyway. Um, yeah, hopefully this goes well. Um, now the reason what I've done is I've put the azaleas behind these proteas because these proteas will grow a bit taller and give them a bit of shade. Same here and in this corner here where there's nothing in front of these azaleas, um, it's shade for most of the morning and then afternoon sun then afternoon shade as well. So it should be okay if it's not. I just put something a little bit taller in front of them so it shades them off a little bit so they're safe. But keen to see how this goes. Keen on those dailies as well. I've seen them in Connor's videos, so I thought they look pretty sweet. So I thought I'd chuck some in. Never used them before. Hopefully they come up. If they don't, then I'll just stay with the lawn. All right. This thing is ridiculous. Like this is just normal sitting. It's acting like a power sitting. <laughs> Check this out. Uh, so Bush Ranger came and dropped this off to me today. Thanks guys for this. It's a 36 volt blower, but it is actually pretty powerful. Come here, Louis. You wanna have a go at it? You hold this. Powerful? You don't think so? He doesn't think it's powerful. Ready? Check this out. Come closer. Come here. I thought you said it wasn't powerful. I'm a Alright, so as you can see, the lawn has grown quite a bit. That inoculate ferd has really kicked in. The lawn's actually look, looking nice and green now. Um, so ready for another cut. So I'm not going to keep it at 10 mil this season. I'm going to drop it, not drop it, take it back up to about 12 mil this cut, and the next cut probably 15 mil. 
because we've got water restrictions and because you know I want to save a bit of water on this lawn the lower you go obviously the more water you're going to use um, so I'm going to bring it up um, so that we are saving water because of this drought that we're in um, hey cheeky dude <laughs> anyway so yeah that's what I'm going to do um, and you know I might have to go a bit higher if I want to save some more water we'll see how it goes throughout the season play it like that I have got an um, exemption because this is technically my business but I'm going to try to save as much water as I can this season, use wetting agents, um, soil amendments to really stop using water as much as I can because I don't really want to be watering when we're going to drought on. But anyway, we're going to change the height now, back to about 12 mil. Last night you caught my eye, so fly, oh my oh my, I've been thinking about you all night. Right, that's all I'm going to do for today. I'm um, going to go spend some time with the family inside. Um, I'll get to the tiff tough tomorrow though. Um, but, you know, you'll see this in like 10 seconds. Maybe tomorrow for you. Um, tiff tough's here. Starting to get some green shoots. You can definitely see it all throughout here. Plus the winter grass and a couple of weeds and that. But I'll, I'll knock that down later in the week. Might even include it in this video at the end. Who knows? Why not? But yeah. This grass is growing. That inoculate's really kicked it in. Which is what I was hoping for. We had snow on the mountain yesterday. The mountain was closed again. It's been freezing here again. We had a top of eight on Sunday, I'm pretty sure. It's disgusting. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to use the Swarbman on the Tiff Tough. I'm actually going to use a rotary mower. So just have to wait and see till tomorrow to see what I'm using. I just want to say a huge thanks to Bush Ranger for dropping this off for me yesterday. They dropped it off. Um, I needed a rotary mower, um, especially for this tiff tough when I go to renovate it in a couple of weeks, which you guys will see a renovation video on this lawn very soon. But I need something like this um, for this tiff tough, and you know, sometimes I want to clean some stuff off the other yard as well, but I didn't have a rotary to do it. So, really keen to check this bad boy out, and it is a key start, which is weird. I've never had a key start mower, not self propelled, but I don't really need that. Um, but yeah, just keen to use it, keen to have a rotary for once just to do a couple of different things with because I haven't used a rotary for, oh, I don't even know, a long time, so I don't use them on the golf course much so it's been ages. really enjoyed it. First impressions, not bad. I like how low it cuts. It was on the second lower setting and it still nipped a bit off the top and this was cutting at 12 mil before so I don't know I should really measure how much it took off but it looks around about around about 12 mil, around about that sort of area. I'll do a bit more of a review on this mower too like first impressions you can never tell. The only thing I would say is from when I first started using it just then is um, because there's heaps of dead stuff on top of this from last season when I scalped it um, it did let a lot of dusty stuff out the sides of it. That's the only thing I'd say, but I mean, I like to see how it cuts actual grass that's not dusty and crusty. Yeah, this is going to green up really soon. Might give it a furt soon. Mm, keen to try this out and get a golf green going. Looks pretty tidy though, for a rotary cut. Um, and all these green shoots popping out. You can see it didn't cut many of that much of that green shoots actually. Should have dropped it down a bit lower. Oh well, it's alright. Just tidied it up, got rid of some of those nasty weeds. Keen to start working on this now that it's starting to green up. Um, which is cool, this is actually starting to green up a lot more than the kayak. 
Cooch tends to come up out of dormancy a little bit quicker anyway because it has got that the thinner rhizomes and stolons on it, so it does actually take the head in a bit quicker. Um, but yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm excited to have something different to try out. Um, and I will be using obviously a real mower this in the real mower on this in the future, but just for the little while, I want to test this mower out on this patch here. I might do a real versus rotary comparison on the rye as well with that mower. So there we go. Let's see what happens. Righty, well, I'm going to wrap the video up there, but thanks guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, like this video if you enjoyed it. Keep an eye out on more content coming on this channel because I've got heaps of stuff going on. Some exciting news to tell you guys soon. A um, couple of things going on in the next couple of weeks, next month. You guys will find out soon. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys have a good week.